Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in all of the mod six to the sky with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Now, if you've been following along, you know that we are working our way through the quest book. Last episode, we were on the pedestals tab where we completed the tree feller or feeler quest by crafting ourselves a tree chopper upgrade. We then use that tree chopper upgrade to, you know, make a automatic tree farm for us. Now, I've kind of fleshed this out a little bit now. We've got four pedestals planting saplings. When those saplings grow up, I've still got the two choppers chopping the wood. You can see it's still not super efficient. Once I get some enchanting stuff in our world, we can enchant those up and, you know, expand the radius out a little bit, which will be super, super useful. All the items drop down. They're picked up by this magnet. Again, the magnet's only got a small range right now. Once I get that, you know, enchanted, we can get a bigger range and this becomes a whole bunch more efficient. All the items that the magnet uh, pedestal are picking up are getting sucked into their corresponding uh, storage area. We've got the apples, we got the sticks, we got the wood, and then the saplings themselves are getting sucked back up into our little sa or block placers, which are placing the saplings down. I've set this up so that all of these, you know, keep a inventory. All four of these block placers are basically sharing all of the saplings. So they're just going around and around in circles just to make sure that there's a sapling in a pedestal when it needs to be there. Now, the whole reason we put together this automatic tree farm is so we could take the wood from the automatic tree farm, smelt it into charcoal, and then use that charcoal to power some pedestal crushers. The pedestal crushers are going to crush the uh, nether rack that we made two episodes ago, and then we're going to go sift that nether rack, and, you know, that's how we're going to get our nether pieces, and then we're going to use those nether pieces to make nether ingots, and then we're going to use those nether ingots to make a netherite mesh. Nether... netherite... The whole reason we set up this tree farm is so we can take the wood from the tree farm. We're going to go smelt it down into charcoal, which is what we're going to do this episode. Then we're going to take that charcoal. We're going to use it to power a crusher. That crusher is going to crush the nether rack. The ne crushed nether rack is going to be run through a sifter. That is going to get us some netherite pieces. We're going to take those netherite pieces to make ingots. And then we're going to take those netherite ingots uh, to make ourselves a netherite mesh. So we've still got a couple of steps to go. This episode, though, like I said, we're going to focus on setting up a auto smelter. To craft an auto, auto smelter, we're going to need some more pedestals. For this setup, I think we're going to need three more pedestals. To make a pedestal, it is the four stone blocks, two stone slabs, and a linking tool. Make sure you take your linking tool out of your crafting table when you are done because you'll leave it behind and you'll go have to find it again, like I've done on a couple of occasions. <laughs> so... Next up, though, what we're going to need is some pedestal upgrades. To make a pedestal upgrade, we take that linking tool in a crafting station with a gold ingot. That gets us a pedestal upgrade. We're going to need one pedestal upgrade per pedestal. Again, take our linking tool back out. The first upgrade that we're going to make is going to be that furnace upgrade. It is very, very simple. It is just a pedestal upgrade with a furnace. And if we go open that up, we we'll press U on it, select that information tab, Place an inventory below the pedestal for item input. Drop fuel items on the pedestal to fuel it. Output comes out the top of the pedestal. Can smelt anything a vanilla furnace can. What this is saying is that if we have an inventory below the furnace, let's just go for the moment, we're going to place that pedestal there, put the upgrade in our offhand. This is very, very important. It will not work if it's not in your offhand. Right click it on there. We now have a pedestal furnace. Anything we put in here will get smelted, if it can be smelted. Let's go one, two, three. We're going to go throw those oak logs in there. This, like any furnace, is going to require a fuel source. To make the fuel source, you do not put it into the furnace. What you got to do is you got to drop it on the furnace. You see it's disappearing there. You can see the flames are coming out of the base. This is now making charcoal. We got one piece of charcoal. So something to keep in mind, though, is that there is only space for one item in this pedestal. It will not hold multiple items. So what we got to do is we got to get the items from this pedestal out to another storage right away so we can go and smelt uh, the additional items. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to set up another pedestal over here, and then we're going to go craft ourselves a export upgrade. So to make a export upgrade, we are first going to need an import upgrade. To make an import upgrade, it is a hopper and a blank pedestal base. We're going to take that, put it back into the crafting station. That gets us our export upgrade. Now, we used these ones last time, so I'm not going to get too far into it. But again, in our offhand, I can't stress that enough. 
right click on there. This now will take any items that come into the pedestal and push it down into the storage. We're going to take our linking tool. We're going to link the export area, shift, right click. And then we're going to go shift, right click on where we're ex exporting that from. You can see that piece of charcoal has disappeared and it's now in this chest. So what we can do is we'll take a couple more sticks and we're going to go toss those up on our furnace pedestal. Charcoal disappears and then we should have enough in there for the second one. Any second. There we go. So it just, just became charcoal there. So we should have three pieces of charcoal in this chest now. So that is all very good. It's not 100% automatic yet, though. We need a way to fuel this. We also need a way to automatically put our items in here. I could set up a pedestal very similar to this one here, where we have a pedestal coming off of our wood chest, transporting it over here, and then pushing the wood into the chest, which gets sucked up into the furnace. It's a little bit complex for what we were doing though. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take my whole setup here. Actually, I'm going to leave that chest. It's not super important. We're going to go take that furnace. We're going to pump it right off of our wood chest. I want to turn all of this wood into uh, charcoal. I'm, I'm not using this to save any wood right now. This is just to make charcoal for uh, my future pedestal work. So once again, we're going to go take that pedestal upgrade, put it into our offhand, select it on there. It will now pull everything, you know, objects from this chest, put it into that pedestal. Again, now we're going to have to link shift off of the, the, where we want the, the stuff to go. This is, it's almost a backwards thinking shift, right click, and then shift, right click there. Link successful. You can see it got pulled out. Let's go sleep really quickly. is a way to automatically drop items onto that uh, furnace there. So to do that, what we're going to need is a dropper upgrade. To make a dropper upgrade, we are first going to need a regular Minecraft dropper. That is just seven cobblestone and a piece of redstone dust, along with a blank upgrade base that gets us our dropper upgrade, our item dropper upgrade. So we're going to come back over here. Now, if we take a quick look at that pedestal upgrade like we've been doing previously, on the information tab, takes item from pedestal and drops them above range effect how far from the top they get dropped so here's the thing if we go and place the pedestal down we go throw that pedestal upgrade in our off hand and then we take something like some more sticks and then we go right click on that you can see it's dropping it from the top now this is not very this is not what we want we wanted to drop it on top of our furnace so what we got to do is break this down and we've got to go place this on top it's got a tree growing up right behind me there so we're going to go place two blocks down we're going to break one right here and then we're going to place the pedestal upside down so the base of the pedestal is the big spot the top of the pedestal is the small spot so anything that drops out of that is going to come out of the top so again we're going to go in our offhand right click we've got our dropper again we're going to go place those into the pedestal you see it is dropping the pedestal the items onto our furnace the furnace is eating them up and is basically you turn the, the wood into charcoal again. Charcoal is getting taken out of the top and put over into this chest over here. So we're not 100% automatic yet, though. We need a way to get the sticks from over here that are getting picked up from our, you know, sapling drops into this pedestal here so they could be dropped onto the furnace. There's a couple of different ways we could do it. We could do similar to how we discussed with the furnace where we could add another pedestal here that will take the sticks out and then have them transferred up here. That's not really very efficient though. There's no reason I need to keep sticks in this spot. I don't need to store sticks. The whole point of these sticks is they're going to be fueling this furnace to make charcoal and the charcoal can be used for other things. Realistically, I do not need this to be a export pedestal. I just need this to be a regular pedestal with a filter that's only going to accept sticks. So to get this off without breaking this pedestal, what we want to do is we want to take our filter swapper. We built this one last time. We're going to go shift, right click into the air. It is now changed into a tag tool. 
Shift, right clicking the air, it is now changed to a upgrade tool. This is what we want. This is what we built originally. And then we've just been shift clicking it into other things. So the upgrade tool, if we go and put it in our offhand, we can go left click, we can pull that uh, upgrade off. We can go back on. It's now back onto there. We can't take this off without breaking the pedestal. So put it back into our offhand, left click, we pull that pedestal, uh, that upgrade off. So this pedestal will not push any items into this chest, but the filter on it is still that stick filter. So nothing from here that is not a, a stick will go, will go into this pedestal. So again, we can't put oak planks in here. If we were to go and switch this upgrade tool, Back to a filter swapper, we can go put it into our offhand, left click, we've pulled the item filter off, we can now put anything onto this pedestal again. So the item filter is still working, we've got to get that out of our hand, and there we go, we can pull that wood off. We want this filter to remain as a stick though. So we're going to go put that on, all the sticks from there are going to get pushed into this pedestal. What we want to do now is we want to use our linking tool, we're going to link this pedestal here for the dropper with this pedestal here for the sticks. And now any sticks that end up in the system are going to go to this pedestal and then they're going to be sent over to the dropper. We probably could have set it up with the filter on the dropper there, but if we ever break this down, we get rid of this as a, as a source of fuel for the furnace, we may want to keep these back into storage again. So there you go. We now have a fully automated furnace system that is taking wood from our automatic tree farm and converted it into charcoal. So we got about 11 pieces of charcoal. It's not super, super efficient. Like I said, once we get the area enchantment modifiers sorted out, we'll get a, quite a few more wood drops. We'll get quite a few more uh, stick drops. Basically the ones getting picked up or where we're really kind of losing out. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If we go jump into our quest book, though, we have now done the furnace quest down here. We crafted ourselves a furnace. Uh, we did the item transfer one last time. I don't know if it actually picked up on it or not. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also, check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi, as well to be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters. Also, I have been streaming on Twitch, JackalWolf77. I stream Tuesday nights, Friday nights, and Saturday nights, 8 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. So if you're looking for a chance to talk with me, that would be a great opportunity to do that. But that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.